Kevin, a 3-1 defeat. What are your overall views on the game? <laughs> missed, probably a missed chance for us, to be honest. Um, it sounds probably silly when you say that, and it's 3-1, and but like we should have been, we should have easily went 2-0 up, you know. Like the amount of chances we had, then conceding just before half time, then conceding right after half time, then we should equalise. Warren hits the crossbar, we took other chances, but uh, even the way things went, look, Connor Keeley pulled out before just before the game, and then Ryan Brennan goes off after a few minutes, so things seem to go against us, but look. It's not to be on LL. The disappointing part is for supporters that were just brilliant, like, you know, to have them massive crowd up here. Disappointing that we haven't got something for them, particularly that we haven't done anything against Sundalk all year. Haven't played well, I think, in every single game. So and um, that's the disappointing part. The reality of the situation is we're probably safer now than we were before the game started tonight. So that's obviously our ultimate goal and, and the lads have been. So I'm not critical of the lads we were beaten, but I thought I don't think we deserve to be beaten, but we were look. So it's been a, it's been a, a good week for us. In, in terms of the injury to, to Connor Cayley, the injury itself is bad enough, but the fact that it happens like an hour or so or less before kickoff, how much does that disrupt your plans? For and it does, of course, because in both boxes, and you see the nature of maybe the goals that they scored a couple of them. But I have to I have to be honest. I thought I thought Ev- Jamie Egan and Evan Weir did really really well. You'd be annoyed about conceding from ultimately two set pieces, and when you haven't got. A big Connor Keeley in in the team, like you know, we do have to readjust, and that's probably what happened. But no, I thought we defended them well for the most part. But um, yeah, look, it just happened just before, like as I said, you know, just before kick off or an hour before kick off. As you said, I thought he, he thought he would play, but wouldn't be able to. It just sort of got worse today. So um, yeah, we just readjust, and I thought we I thought we did okay, you know. But as I said, ultimately we were beaten, and that's disappointing. But bigger picture I'm really uh, really happy in terms of Ryan's injury which saw him there looks like it's, it's a dislocation do you know I don't I don't know if it's okay it might be Connor Bone or something that didn't have that much time with him so yeah it's unlucky but again we're sort of not many games left and we'll just patch up and, and, and get through it but um, yeah as I said hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll keep, it won't be as bad as it looked but it does look fairly bad to be fair yeah and I suppose you lose him, but then Kyle comes on and gets gets onto a great ball in behind and finishes it really well. So, not that you want to lose a player through injury, but Kyle, when he came in, gave you something a little bit different. He gets in on that goal and puts you ahead. Yeah, yeah, it was a great finish, and he probably should have done it again. And it was more very similar. I don't know if it, got, it was hard to see. You might have got a better view up there, but probably should have scored again. And he wasn't the only one that should have scored again. We should, I think we should have had three or four goals. But look, as I said, I'm not overly critical. Lads have been amazing all season, never mind the last week. To pick up the amount of points. Again, I'm just repeating myself, but bigger picture, we're in a better position now than we were before. The match's only four games left, so no, I'm delighted with the lads. It's disappointing to lose against them, Doc, but that's fine. Look, again, we'll have, an, have another day with them, but we, we just move on and get ourselves ready for next week. Can I just ask you one question about the off the field stuff this week? The, the takeover, I believe, was, was a meeting at the FAI on Wednesday. Uh, have you heard anything on that yourself? No, look, I said, I'm leaving the, the club to, to deal with all that. I'd love to be doing with them. Um, trying to prepare for this especially with bodies dropping all over the place but nah look the club are no everything's everything's are as far as I know moving very well so we'll uh, hopefully we'll see what happens thanks Kevin thanks Dave